Uh, so for the past 10 months, I was able to spend time in Germany. I was in a city called Kreisheim. Um, it was a very cool experience. I played in the Bundesliga, so it's the first league in Germany. Um, I was able to have a lot of new experiences. Um, I love the German culture. That was a, a little bit different than the U.S., but it was very cool. And um, overall, I enjoyed my time, and I'm looking forward to figuring out where my next destination will be. Germany, it's... Although it's a, a big country, it's a lot smaller than the U.S., obviously, and um, I enjoy to travel. Um, you can go from one city to another that's 20 minutes away, and it feels totally different. Um, there's a city of Rotenburg, which is on the Romantic Road, and it's this small, quaint city, and then um, you go 30 minutes farther, and you're um, in Stuttgart, a big um, business-like city, and um, it was very cool to kind of see the differences in such a small area. Um, it was uh, traveling was probably the best part of being over there because there's so many things to see. Um, yeah, I actually um, I was able to go to 11 different countries this year. Um, for preseason, we went to Serbia and Austria and Belgium, and then outside of that, I was able to go to Italy, um, the Netherlands, uh, Spain. Yeah, a lot of countries. Um, <laughs> But no, yeah, the traveling was really fun. Um, that was my first time in Europe, so um, I tried to kind of fit it all into one season for now and then hope I can explore more next year. The uh, Kreisheim Merlins, they um, blue and gray, so it's uh, similar to Xavier, I like that. And uh, the fans were definitely as enthusiastic as Xavier. Yeah, it was funny, um, a lot of the teammates I played with, um, they said once I signed, you know, they started looking me up and they're oh yeah I know who that is and they have friends texting I'm like dude you're playing with this guy and that so um, I say there is a following of college basketball it's not as intense as it is over here obviously but um, people are definitely aware. In the same league as me this year was Kenny Freeze and Isaiah Fillmore um, so I was able to um, talk to them and I was able to hang out with Isaiah before one of the games and catch up with him so yeah there just definitely is a Xavier presence in Germany. Uh, especially in New in Deutsch. Um, I, I actually did take some German classes. It took about four months of three times a week German class. So um, my German's getting better. Um, definitely a lot of room for improvement. It's a very hard language to learn, but um, I did learn some. And after living there, you you kind of catch on a little bit. So um, my plans this summer are just to kind of work out, try to get back in shape. Um, and my agent will be figuring out where my next destination will be. I'd like to stay in Germany. I, I love that uh, the country a lot. And um, you know, I'd be open to going to another country, but. Kind of just playing it from there. Um, I hope to play summer league this year again. Um, with the current situation, me being a little bit hurt, I may or may not be able to do that still. Um, we'll see if an opportunity arises. Um, but yeah, as of now, just trying to get in the best shape I can, uh, rehab myself, and then um, go from there. Yeah, no, that's still the plan. I'm kind of playing it by ear right now. I want to uh, figure out how much basketball is going to continue to be my career. Um, I love basketball and everything everywhere it's taken me. So I want to keep enjoying that and kind of avoid the nine to five until I can. But um, yeah, I've definitely thought about um, my post career goals and what's going on. Um, you know, I could definitely see myself getting into the finance world, obviously with a finance degree and a master's in business. But you know, another thing that's really kind of interested me is um, announcing or broadcasting. That's something I think I'd, I'd be very good at. And um, I might try over these next couple summers or a couple months to get in touch with some people where I can maybe um, kind of shadow them or see how they, they got into that profession. There's a lot of late nights um, with the six hour time difference. Um, when they have you know eight o'clock tips, that's usually at 2 a.m. for me. Um, I remember watching the, the game versus Wisconsin and having my heart pulled out um, at 4 a.m. in the morning. Me and my girlfriend kind of like, no. Um, so yeah, no, I was able to follow a lot of games. Um, you know, obviously when we were playing or when it was very, very late and we had something the next day, I wasn't able to, but um, I'd say I watched 80% of the games. Yeah. The, yeah, next year's team is definitely, um, have a lot of young guys, but they also have a lot of experience, even with those young guys. Um, I think it's, you know, awesome that Trayvon's coming back and um, you have some guys who are going to step up and Edmund Sumner and, you know, it's, it's, it's a thing where you hope the camaraderie stays there and uh, with that comes a lot of success. Um, they, they showed that last year that they got along really well and that's something that I think uh, pulls a lot of teams together.